destruction, extreme flooding, severe droughts, entire communities reduced to toothpicks. Intense weather phenomena devastate nations and cause millions of dollars worth of destruction each year. Both influenced by wind and air mass patterns, tornadoes and monsoons are two of the world's most unpredictable but powerful weather events. In the next 10 minutes, we will be exploring the creation of tornadoes and monsoons in terms of the meaning of air masses, winds, atmospheric humidity, and the jet stream. We will be examining their effects on local communities, as well as human attempts at controlling, forecasting, and monitoring them. Tornado Alley, USA. With an average of 1,000 tornadoes a year, this region spanning from Texas to Nebraska holds the highest occurrence of tornadoes in the country. This large, flat plains region allows cold and warm air masses to collide, which is optimal for the development of the largest and most dangerous tornadoes in North America. Killing thousands, billions of dollars in destruction are incurred annually. Overall, with about 1,200, the United States alone accounts for approximately 75% of the world's tornadoes each year. However, tornadoes may develop anywhere in the world on every continent, with the exception of polar regions. In Canada, there are merely around 80 a year, causing on average 2 deaths and 20 injuries. Canadian tornadoes usually occur in southern Ontario, southeastern Quebec, as well as the southern regions of the prairie provinces. Tornadoes are formed during intense thunderstorms and their results can be quite devastating. Warm, moist air rises over cold, dry air due to the warm air's lower density. Called uplifting, this may occur in two ways. Heat on the Earth's surface causes humid, moist air to rise. Uplifting may also occur from the meeting of cold air masses from the Arctic with warm air from the Gulf of Mexico. Reaching up high in the atmosphere, up to 15,000 meters, the cloud formed by moist air eventually starts to spread out at the top, forming an anvil-shaped cumulonimbus cloud such as this one. Some of the air cools again, condensing. The condensed moisture in the air falls as precipitation such as rain or hail. Air that has cooled sinks back to the surface to fill the space left by uplifted air only to become heated again, giving the storm more and more power. This heat transfer cycle is called convection. In a thunderstorm, however, this cycle must be unstable or active, meaning it occurs too rapidly. A high temperature difference between the Earth's surface and atmosphere creates this effect, usually occurring on a hot summer afternoon. The system gains even more strength when rising air is quickly carried away by high altitude, high speed winds such as the jet stream. Bernoulli's principle states that as the speed of the fluid increases, the pressure within it decreases since energy is now being used for speed, not pressure. Fast moving tornado winds around 320 to 1000 kilometers per hour create a pressure difference between the outside and the inside of this house. Since the pressure inside is higher, the storm rips the house's roof off as high winds demolish what is left standing. Pressure differences give a tornado its ability to pick up and throw objects and tear apart cities. Intense uplifting occurring from different directions causes a rotational effect. A funnel cloud appears to drop out of the parent cloud, made visible by water vapor and debris collected. If this funnel cloud drops to the ground, this storm can finally be called a tornado. If this tornado is over water, it is called a water spout. Seen here are twin water spouts, a highly rare occurrence. Traveling at speeds up to 100 kilometers an hour, usually from the southwest to a northwest direction along their paths, tornadoes skip along the ground, 
making contact for only a few minutes in a particular area. Nevertheless, tornadoes devastating trails of destruction. A path of debris on average is 50 meters wide and 8 to 24 kilometers long. The northern hemisphere tornadoes tend to spin counterclockwise, whereas those in the southern hemisphere spin clockwise. However, it is still uncertain why there are exceptions to this pattern. Speeds in the center of the tornado are the fastest, at 500 kilometers an hour maximum. Tornadoes may have diameters measuring up to 500 meters. However, smaller diameters are associated with faster spinning and deadlier pressure differences. Consider spinning arms out. With arms extended, the rotation is slower. With arms in, the rotation is faster. Oh, whoa, did you see that? How can you stay safe during a tornado? At home, avoid windows as flying glass can injure or kill. Seek shelter on the lowest floor in a windowless inner room near the center like a bathroom or closet. Hide under strong sturdy furniture such as a table. Protect your head with a blanket or your hands. If outdoors, in a car or in a mobile home, lay flat in the ditch, a storm cellar, or any other low area without trees while covering your head. Do not hide under the car or mobile home. Eventually, in the mature stages of the storm, the uplifted air starts to lose heat and sinks back to the ground. Precipitation cools the earth's surface, preventing the downdraft from heating up again. The storm starts to weaken. It becomes fragmented and dissipates. Smaller clouds can be seen in the tranquil sky, a sharp contrast to the devastation below.